Hi, my name is Jin Ho Kang, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at ESRI. In this ArcGIS Indoors demonstration, we will be looking at configuring Floor Aware Map and Floor Aware Layers. Introduced in ArcGIS Pro 2.8, the term Floor Aware applies to maps and scenes containing indoor GIS data representing floor plan features organized hierarchically. Features are associated to a level. Levels are associated with a facility, and facilities are associated with a site. ArcGIS Pro and other apps and APIs that support floor-aware maps and scenes can use these associations to enable intuitive visualization and analysis of indoor data. An indoor data set created using tools available with the ArcGIS Indoors license provides a well-defined schema for loading and maintaining floor plan data in an indoor GIS. It is not required, but highly recommended as they have all the required attribute fields. In this view tab, you're looking at ESRI's Redlands Main Campus Floor Aware Map. Floor Aware Configured Map will have an interactive floor filter on the upper right corner to explore the floor aware data based on the configured sites facilities, and floors. You can define additional feature layers as floor-aware as long as they contain an attribute field that defines the level on which each feature is located. This allows you to easily relate data from other business systems, which may have a schema that differs from the indoor model to your floor plan data. You will notice that along with floor layouts, my ESRI colleagues' office locations are color-coded based on their department. This people point feature class is also defined with floor-aware configuration to work with the building floor layout. This place and thing layer is also defined as floor-aware based on attribute field to work with the building floor layout. So let's configure a floor-aware map on this new map. Here, I have the exact same indoor feature layers. You'll notice that all features are displayed and stacked, and there's no floor filter widget activated. To configure a floor aware map, right click the map in the contents pane and click properties to open the map properties dialog box. In the indoor layers tab, we're specifying the corresponding layer for sites, facilities, and floors. For sites, I'll use the size layer. Size setting can be optional if your organization doesn't have multiple campus locations. For facilities, I'll use the facilities feature layer. For floors, I'll use the levels layer. Once you click OK, you'll notice that the floor filter is on the top right corner. Under the site selection, I will select the ESRI main campus. Under the facility selection, I'll go to the building Q. The floor level Q1, Q2, and Q3 appear on the filter. Because only those three layers are configured, the rest of the layers do not filter. Now, we're going to configure the rest of the layers to work with the floor aware map. In the indoor database schema, the field level underscore ID refers to the specific floor level of the building. The site underscore ID refers to the site locations. Here, the facility underscore ID inherits the site underscore ID values and the facility building identifier, which is L building in this table. And for level underscore ID, it inherits the facility ID, which includes the site ID information and adds the floor height in the end. We will be using the level underscore ID field to configure the rest of the layers. In the map pane, I'm right-clicking the units layer to access the properties. On the floors layer tab, I am selecting the level underscore ID attribute field as the floor field identifier. Once I click OK, I will use the floor filter and toggle through this building's queues floor levels. We now see that units layer is properly configured to work with floor aware layer. 
I will perform the same configurations for the remaining details, place and thing, and people feature layers. Once the floor aware configurations are complete, all the layers are now working as the indoor floor aware map for the organization. Keep in mind that all data layers are based on ArcGIS Indoor's data set with a well-defined schema created by the tools available with ArcGIS Indoor's license. This concludes the configuration of FloorAware map and layers demonstration. Thank you for watching.